right there. Alright, All right, shalom. 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 Alright, first and foremost, we're gonna get started, we're gonna give our honor and glory and power to Yahweh by Shimon, 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 by Shimon,
this is uh, the book of this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter one, verse nine. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. They see that? And that's what the Lord have done to us. Remember, ain't nothing new under the sun. Alright? Because every time the Lord gonna destroy a kingdom, alright, what he do? He sent his prophets out, man, to warn the people. Really give my heads up. And the Lord is fire. That's a balanced power right there, man. That's a merciful power. He is a merciful God, man. Because here it is. He, he gonna give you a warning before the destruction. That's the difference between Esau and the Lord. All right, Esau don't give you no warning. But the Lord has given you the warning which through the grace period to what? To get your mind right. All right, this is the grace period for us to repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father, man, wholeheartedly. This is the time. But go ahead, out. This is uh, verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Now read it with nine again. Read nine again, so like Ner Jeremiah 1 and 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my, my words in thy mouth. See, the Lord said he had put his words in our mouth, man. So when you hear a prophet start with the apostles and the elders, all right, that's the Heavenly Father speaking uh, through them, man. As you see right now, it's the Heavenly Father speaking through us, all right, to bring out this good news, which is the gospel, this message, man. We hope to, uh, to enter into the elect in their mind uh, converted, all right, and, and what? And, and turn back to the Heavenly Father. That's what it's for, man. You got it out? Yeah. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 10, verse 20. For it is not he that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. You see, it's not us that speak, but it's the Spirit of your high by Shemal Shah which speak within us, man. All right, and guess what? We are sent to pull down the stronghold. All right, we, we are sent to pull down the illusion. All right, we are sent to uh, to bind up the brokenhearted. You see, that cause, cause, uh, when a person are brokenhearted, I mean, what they are misled, they confused. All right, and yeah, Christianity bring a lot of confusion. Yeah. Islam bring a lot of confusion. All right, uh, 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 what you call them committed? They they bring a lot of confusion, man. All the all the resources of religion bring forth a lot of confusion. And here it is, the Lord has sent the prophets, the true men, all right, that will never hold their peace day or night to bring you to what? The true gospel. All right. You got some up? Go ahead. You on that? Isaiah 6, starting at verse 9, and he said, Go and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. And the brothers are speaking on that, man. You know, all these uh, different branches of religion. Alright, right, it brings forth nothing but confusion. So that's why when the gospel is, you know, the true gospel is out there, the hundreds of truths is out there, but. The Most High has given them over to their uh, strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Alright, now, uh, what is that, 2 Thessalonians? You know, and it's going to continue. I'm going to uh, read this. Go ahead. Verse 11, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly destroyed. So that's how long niggas are going to continuously be confused and in this docile state of, of mind, man. Our people are going to be destroyed all the way into the, the, the pure destruction. Right. You know, that's the only agent to uh, uh, cleanse the wickedness out of the nation of Israel. It's right. getting rid of two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Yeah, yeah that's right, brother, because this is the time. Like, 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 you know, you know, when you further keep on reading down, this is the time, this is the season. All right? Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 1, verse, I'll read 9 again. Jeremiah 1 and 9, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down the build and to plant. Right, you see that? That's what the Lord has set the prophets up to do. 
All right, read one more time, verse 10. Jeremiah 1 and 10. See, I have this day set over thee, the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down and to destroy. It said to root out, to pull down, go ahead. And to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. It said to throw down, to build and to plant. All right. Now, first thing we're going to Isaiah 62, how the Lord set us up, and then you got to fix the asses. Uh, 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 three, we're gonna start at one. Go ahead, Malachi. Huh? Oh, uh, no, nah, verse nine. Chapter 62, verse 6. I have said, Watchmen upon thy walls. He said, He has said, Watchmen. And the watchman is what? The prophets. Because we don't want this watching. All right? Observing. Everything going on through the media. All right? On the news. Or everything that's happening in the world. Guess what? The prophets are the first ones on it, man. Watchmen. You know? Why? Because we are the watchmen. Because the watchman is the person that sits upon the tower and alerts you. Or alarm you when when certain things are is happening. So say for instance, if an enemy comes, it's a certain uh, sound they blow, or it's the time, all right, to, to uh, gather to the feast. It's a certain sound they blow. So you got the prophets right now blowing this this sound, man. It's a certain sound to only those that got the word, the ears to hear. You know, as the brother had brought out. But uh, go ahead. Oh Jerusalem, which. I read it from the top again. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have said, Watching upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right, and you see that through the internet, I write the YouTube, brother going lesson all the time of the day. Yeah. You know, 2, 3 in the morning, you got a brother going live. Whether, whether it's in Hawaii, you know, or, or London, you know, it, it don't matter. You got brothers what, putting their work in, man. They never hold their peace. All right, they constantly sign the crime for all the abomination that we've done in the midst of All right, and what's the token for that? The Lord will come to destroy this place, man. But he sent his prophets to, 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 uh, to pull down, all right, the wickedness of this place, all right, and put the righteousness in it. That's why we say, what, from Nasharala, meaning what? Rise Israel. And that's what you see. You see the rise of Israelites. You see the downfall of the Edomites, man. All right, as, as, as prophecy continue to unfold, you're going to see that because why? It's going to be continuing to manifest. All right, the wicked is going down and the righteousness is what? Rising up. Got it up. He that make mention of the Lord keep not silence. Right. And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right, see, the Lord said give him no rest. And also the scriptures say what? Well, seek him ten times up, you know, seek him ten times more. Alright, so we're not gonna get a Lord rest, man. We're gonna constantly complain. Alright, we're gonna constantly beg, mean pray. Alright, that the heavenly father deliver us and, and, and preserve us, alright, for salvation instead of destruction. You know? You got some more? I got that uh, Corinthians. Yeah, yeah, come, come, on, grab that. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10, and I'll start in verse 3. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? But mighty through God to pulling down the stronghold. Exactly. See, because one thing about it, Esau to the point and retaliate in a corner way. That's why he got uh, uh, sell outs and set ups. Because here it is, now you're seeing Jake carry guns to camp and shit like that. that. That's not a true man of the Lord to do them things like that, man. You know, because you know, a true man of the Lord is going to rely on who? His power, his source. You know, because the, the scripture tells you don't put trust in, 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 in the gun, in the arrow. All right? Why? Because it's a power 
the trust in your high Bashima shot, guess what? It's gonna profit you. Why? Because you will be delivered out of out of that temptation. You will be delivered out of that trouble. See? Oh, read it again up. Uh, uh, so, uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And what we're doing, we're pulling down the lies of Esau, man. I need that good verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And right, and, and, and the one thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Lord is what? It's MOTB. Yeah. Because he want to put himself in the shoes of Yahweh. You see, he trying to be better than than you have about Shimon Shah. So that's the thing that is out in itself, man. But guess what? It's not gonna prosper. It's not gonna prevail. Esau gonna fail, man, and his system. And it started what with the prophets. All right. That's why these people, you got these Christians coming out the woodwork. Now they want to read the Bible and try to break the Bible down. They ain't, they ain't did shit this whole time until the prophets show up. Right, now they want to talk about prophecy. Why? Because we pull it down the stronghold through the spirit of power you have by Shema Shai. All of it with what? With the word. You know? But you got it out. I was still want you to go down to Jeremiah, though. Want to say that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the Mashiach. That's right, man. Bring it to what? Captivity, every thought. You got it out. Uh, you got something? Oh, okay, go ahead. Back in Jeremiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeremiah 1 and 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Right. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou, thou hast well seen. I will hasten my word to perform it. Hey, the Lord said, What? He's going to haste his word to perform it. Is he not hastening the day? Is yep. it coming up by the Lord? All right? Did not the Lord say, Do it, tear it, wait for it, but it shall surely come? So, what, what, what is happening right here? Things are being prepped. You know what I'm saying? The, the event is being prepped, man, for when it actually happens, it's going to go smooth, man. It's going to go exactly how it was written, man. All right? Go ahead. Verse 12. Uh, then said said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me second the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a seed pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. All right. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north, and evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants oh, of the land. You see, it said the what? The evil shall what? Break forth. Throughout the whole land, where we at? We in the north. Yeah. We in the land of the north. So that's how you know it. It's talking about this Babylon. Even though Jeremiah was in Babylon, but their prophecy was being fulfilled in America, man. He saw that the Lord gave him their vision. My great granddad too. Uh, 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 yeah. Go ahead. I, all right. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and uh, 15. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord. They shall come and they shall set everyone his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem. Right. And against all the walls thereof right about and against all the cities of Judah. Go ahead. Verse 16. And I will utter my judgment against them touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me and have burned incense un unto other gods. Right, so that's two thirds of our people. They're going to be destroyed. Right. You know, Not because they load the law that you have by Shema Shah while they had liberty. They continue to worship the idols. All right, because there's a point in time, like the scriptures say, uh, the Most High winked at our ignorance. But guess what? It's no more winking. Why? Because the truth is out here. Right. That's why Yahweh Shah said, if I had not came, then they would have an excuse. But guess what? The Lord came because what? He come in the Bible with a book. And his word is being spoken through what? Through the prophets. So you have no excuse. So here it is. Our people refuse to turn back to the Heavenly Father, all right, through, through the deception of the so-called white man, which is Christianity, and, and continue to serve other gods and bring incense to other gods, which is no power. They're going to be destroyed. Go ahead, I. 
I'll read verse 16 again. Uh, from the top, Jeremiah 1 and 16, and I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise. Eyes and speak unto them all that I have commanded them. Right, and they're doing the same thing. That's how you know this Babylon 2.0. Because our people are doing the same thing, worshiping idols. You know what I'm saying? Serving false gods. To this day, that's why that's what the scriptures say, even up to this day, as our father, our forefathers. All right, even up to this day, man, our people still doing the same thing, man. The scriptures say, uh, his ass is what it might have, but we think under the sun. Yo, yo, come on. You got it out. Uh, it says, Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. Right. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, and an iron pillar, and a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Verse 19. And they shall fight against thee. But they should not prevail against thee. Exactly. See, they're going to fight against them, but they ain't going to prevail. Go ahead. Right. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. Right. See, the, but the Lord right. going to be with who? He's going to be with the prophets. Right. You see that? And guess what? We're not going to lose. We're going to be delivered. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. But I know it is written, so the elect will be delivered. All right? Whoever fit in that category, man. You know, but Lord willing, it be us. No, you got something to talk about. I, uh... I got the second English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 10 to 11. I think, uh... Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 10 to 11. Behold! My people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Right. Our people are led to the what? The flock, it led as a flock to the slaughter. Right. Go ahead. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Go ahead. But I will bring with, I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. I see. And it's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. Remember, that was Yahweh Shai the first time, man, who came through Egypt. All right, who was the only one that was uh, uh, delivered? Those that had the blood across what? The door for us, right? All right, and guess what? The Lord better come to this Eve again and smite it. All right, and, and those that have not the Tawa, which is the the, 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 the mark from the zip of the judgment, guess what? You're going to get destroyed too, the same way. That's essentially the, uh, that mark, essentially the same thing as the, uh, the blood on the door for us. Yeah. Back then, that was the mark of the century. Right. We had the blood on the doorpost. He was exempt from the judgment. And the angel was coming through. So it's going to be the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the blood of the Lamb. So through the Spirit, you know, we cleansed by Yahweh's shot blood. You know, we're the only ones, Lord, we're the those men. We're the only ones that's not stopping on the blood of Yahweh's shot. That's right. You look at the other camps and then the rest of our people, they stop on the blood of Yahweh's shot. We was talking about it, uh, I think, the other day, Yahweh and I. Uh, things all three of us. But, uh, you know, Jake, you know, if it was up to Jake, they would want Yahweh Shah to come back two, three, four more times. Yeah. You know, it's just every fresh. Yeah, 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 God, in that scripture. You know, the same thing, uh, what was it, the same said, uh, to obey is better than the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's all Jake did back in the day. I went off, so I'm just going to toss up a land. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's why the most I got rid of that, man. What's up? No, you good, bro. Go ahead. It's uh, Jeremiah 5 14. I, I, oh, you finished the It says, And smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Yep. Which that was, uh, you know, if I can say, it wasn't something they did back in ancient Egypt. The land wasn't destroyed. All the land wasn't destroyed. It was here with plagues. Right. And the Israelites had, you know, the Israelites said, Pharaoh would chase after them. Got swallowed up in, you know, in the, uh, the sea. Yeah, the yeah. sea. Yes. But this time in Egypt, it's going to get destroyed. Yep. That's how you know it's talking about the bar. Yeah, because people tried to use that, uh, what was told to Abraham. That was talking about ancient Egypt. Because the Israelites this time, we're not coming out. Yeah. And 
is a completely different thing. Not to mention, we've already surpassed war on the fucking weeks. Um, taking into account everything. And even the southern kingdom to the northern kingdom has been over 400 years. But yeah, they, they, they account the, uh, the 1619. Yeah. The, the, the official, and that's the, that's the official day he saw me. Yeah, yeah, this nigga, man, he made more shit. Right. Right. And then yeah, then the Nordic Kingdom on top of that. Yeah. So, so uh, we're ending on that right now. Jeremiah five fourteen. Wherefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. Right. He said he gonna make the words in our mouth, in the prophet's mouth, fire. Go ahead. And his people would. And the people would. What did fire do to wood? Right. Burn it. And this is what we spiritually are doing. We burning down Babylon and great through the spirit of your high Bashim Shah, through the word, man. That's it. That's how we pulling, that's how we pulling, uh pulling down, man, the wickedness through the word. That's right. It's fire. We speak of fire, man, and burning this place down, man. Really burning the minds of our people. Right. The scriptures say this word shall be preached unto all nations, then shall the end come. That's right. So it's like it's like this truth is like a wildfire, because it's spread. No, go ahead, bro. I will make the, my words in thy mouth fire, yeah. and this people wood, and it shall devour them. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, I will bring a nation unto you from, o, from far, O house of Israel, said the Lord. It is a mighty nation, it is an ancient nation, yeah. a nation whose language thou knowest not, Ooh. neither understandeth what they say. They're going to them troops. Yeah. Remember, martial law is coming. Foreign troops. All right, the foreign troops will come over here, man. You know, up there was second edge of the 15th chapter, man. They're going to be live and direct and, and in effect, right. you know. Because they're trained to kill. Yeah, that's yeah. That's all they, they eat, sleep, and breathe is, is, is killing. That's right. Go ahead. Their quiver is an open sepulcher. Uh, sepulcher. Oh, sepulcher. Sepulcher. They are all mighty men. And they shall eat up thine harvest and thy bread, which thy sons and thy daughters should eat. They shall eat up thy flocks and thy herds. They shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees. They shall impoverish thy fenced cities, wherein thou trusted with the sword. Because mm. they trust the what? The sword. Yeah, sword. All right. We're going back to what? Go down. Go to you to go down to Egypt for help. They trust in oppression. They trust in this system. And you got the prophets prophesying the downfall of this system. Right. You see that? So Lord willing, we be delivered, and I say it's ready for two-thirds of our people to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. But through the Spirit, the Lord have us pulling down the stronghold of this wicked-ass society, man. And we're going to continue to do it till the Lord sees otherwise, you know? So with that, I hope you brothers and sisters are edified. You know, this is a little quick hit, you know what I'm saying, before we uh, go to camp. So next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.